Julie here from Finimize, optimizing your humanist, how you move matters. And today we're going to be working on how to release trigger points on your lower part of your body. So if you have ankle issues, knee issues, or hip issues, this is the video for you. What you're going to need is some equipment. So you're going to need a ball, spiky balls, hard ball, lacrosse ball, tennis ball, any kind of ball that you have. We're going to start with that MB5 ball or a grid stick. So if you don't have any of these things, this video, you're gonna have to pause this video and go grab it first and then come back. If you don't have a grid stick, go get a rolling pin. A lot of people have rolling pins in there. So we're home. gonna start off with the bottom of the foot. So we're gonna do, how we do it is, you're gonna start with rolling, bottom of the foot. Here, just to get it going, just to massage the fascia on the bottom of the feet. Seeing if you find any tender spots on either side, anywhere. And we're gonna do is you're gonna stop at the base of the toes. Go ahead and push down three to five times. See if it's tender. Move the toes, hold it down, move the toes around. Try to get some movement in the joints below the pressure point. Again, roll and massage, see if you can find any other tender spots. Let's go in the middle of the foot. Press that down. If you go on the inside a little bit, most people are tender, very, very tender there. Press down again, lift and extend. And then let's massage again. Here, let's go with the teal. Push down, one, two, three. Try to lift those toes, move it around. Okay, where was the tender? Where was the most tender? Middle of the foot, right? Yep, that's where most people are too. So we're gonna go back there, we're gonna push down a few more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just put pressure down, move those toes up, spread the toes, drop it down. Up and spread, let it down. Make sure you're not holding your breath while you're doing this. Up and breathe, cool? All right, we'll give that a go. Let's go to the other foot. How's that feel? Ooh, a little bit tighter on this side for me. Okay, base of the toes, push down. Move those toes. All right, middle of the foot. Push down. Move those toes. Good, roll it out. Base of the heels, push down. Plantar fasciitis, you got it. It sucks here. I'm trying to get that movement in there. Okay, which one's the tightest? Middle, hands down. Push down, move those toes. Tight fascia there, holy, holy, holy. Cool, all right, you're gonna grab that grid stick or rolling pin, what I want you to do is you're gonna, you're gonna go inside of your calf, go to the shin, go to the, make sure you love the top of your foot as well. Get right in here, this tends to be very tender. If you have um, poor ankle mobility, that inside right here, it gets really, really uh, gnarly sometimes. Go on the inside of the calf here, this gets really gnarly as well. You feel that tender spot there. Oh yeah, loosen that up a little bit. Let's go to the outside of the thigh, top of the thigh. See if you find any tender spots, just take note. Take note, where is it feeling tender? I got a few of them already. Mental note, woo, mental note. I need to do this more often. <laughs> go to the other side, on the top of the foot. Shins, just don't do the bones because that hurts. Inside here, inside of the calf, get that soleus here. Ooh, yeah. The whole calf. Outside of the thigh, top of the thigh, inside. Where are you tender? Probably in, I'm gonna guess the inner part of your thigh, but maybe not. Okay, that's your rolling okay. grid stick. Now we're gonna go to the MB5 ball. So what you need to do is grab your ball. You can also use the lacrosse ball. much harder and more gnarly. But what we're gonna do is you're gonna turn your foot in, Place it right at, so if I see, if you see your calf muscle here, you're gonna put it right at the base of your calf muscle. So your leg is gonna go in, in, put your other foot on top, and you're gonna roll your ankle, okay? A lot of people get up on here and they're trying to roll up and down and do all this. We're not gonna do that, okay? You can if you like, it just, it hurts the wrist and then you get really tired and then you're not gonna spend the time that you need to on this. So what I want you to do is I want you to find that gnarly spot, because I know you got one. And you're gonna roll the ankle around and around she goes. Step on the gas, step off the gas. Try to, almost try to make a, a wave with your foot. Oh yeah. Try to at least loosen that guy up. You're like, eek. are you holding your breath? Probably. So don't hold your breath, okay? So let's get our breathing in play here. Like, let's get that breathing in check. Try to loosen that sucker up because it's pretty gnarly. Let's be honest. All right, so now we're gonna go middle of the calf. So now just kind of roll it up and down like so. Again. If this is easier for you, knock yourself out. 
but I just prefer to not, I like to prefer, I'm lazy. I don't move more than I have to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go side to side now, go across the belly. That's very important that you go across the belly of the muscle, okay? So I feel a little click, click. So that means I got something that's not in the right spot. So I'm just gonna find that spot, put my other foot on top, and again, I'm gonna roll my ankle, and you're gonna hear a snap. Can you hear it? Maybe not, it might be too far. Anyway, so there's a little snap going on. Again, that's just a tendon, not in the right groove. So it's in the back of my ankle, in my, in my um, Achilles. So I'm just gonna try to loosen that up so that it can get back in the groove, okay? Go right to the inside of your shin. And I'm gonna go right below. So there's a bone right here, your tip fib. We're gonna go just below it, okay? So you're gonna place your hand on top. We're gonna roll up and down like so. You're gonna step on the gas. You hear the tendon again. There. Cracking, popping, that's all normal. Okay, so we're just trying to release that. It should be tender. If it's not, you're not in the right spot. Okay, that's all good. So this is all gonna help with ankle mobility, pain in the knees. So if you get those achy knees when it rains, this stuff is gonna help, okay? So we're just trying to release that. And now we're gonna go ahead, so place it here, roll it. One side might be worse than the other, might be the same. I don't know, move the ankle. So again, middle of the calf, go up and down. Now I'm gonna go across the belly, click, 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 click. So my, my calves are tight. I don't know if you, clunk, clunk. Yeah, they're tight, all right. Now I'm gonna roll the ankle. Mm -hmm. All right, and then inch side the shin. Don't go too low. You can roll it up and down. You're just gonna find that tender spot. Make sure you add pressure on top. Again, roll the ankle up and down, step on the gas, step off the gas, try to make a wave, try to move as much as you can, but don't move the ball. Cool? All right, right. that's gonna make the ankles and the knees feel way better. Now let's finish off with the thigh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to the knee, put the leg down slightly, <clears throat> or bend the knee. You're gonna go down on your bellies here. And what I want you to do is you're going to bring your heel to your bum. Just back and forth, okay? So you can do this on the ground or on the wall if you can't get to the ground. Ground is definitely better because you're gonna feel a lot more. Now we're gonna go across the belly of the muscle. So this is the VMO, vastus medialis obliquus. Lots of stuff going on here. There's tendons, ligaments, lymph nodes that, have, that are all in here. They get a little grungy and unhappy when it rains and that weather is crappy. So that's what you're gonna feel here. It's gonna let go. If you have poor glute strength, you're gonna feel this as well. If your knees cave in, when you squat or when you step up, this is what's going on. You gotta release this spot and get some blood flow here so that your brain knows, okay, we need this area to work. So then what we're gonna do, you're gonna roll it down, middle of the thigh, same thing, extend the leg, bring it back up and down, and then tick tock it side to side. We good? Cool. And then let's go right to the top of the hip. That feels pretty good on me, that's why I'm not spending. If, you hurt, if, it's long, if it hurts, more for you, spend more time on it, but it might be so tender that you're like, mm, I'm done. 30 to 60 seconds is really sufficient here. So get into that hip. Again, bring your heel to your bum, side to side. I'm feeling a little clicking, so there's something going on in my hip here. A little circle action here. So you can't neglect this stuff. This is stuff, this stuff makes a difference. If you wanna be able to lift and move and, and do all the things that your body wants to do, these are important things that you need to do on a regular basis. All right, any questions about that, let me know. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so that you can get the notifications of any future videos that I have coming your way. And stay tuned for future videos on how to help you move and groove and live your best life. I'm Julie from Vitamize, optimizing you one movement at a time, how you move matters. Have a super fantastic day. Thanks for being here.